hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing great and um, if it's your first time here you are very welcome and if you are a regular member of this family thank you so much for the constant support today is the 24th it's um thursday yeah today is thursday and i'm trying all my best to make content for my channel for you guys so i just came back from town went to purchase um a new tripod so i uh, just twist that box so i'm actually using the new tripod as we are speaking now and the only tripod that i'm left with is the small portable one i still need to purchase it so this is um for those i know there are those who are into cleaning motivation cooking trying to show us exactly not really zooming in just you know you, when you want that light to to go inside your content <laughs> so what i mean is that um i bought this um i bought this green light and the tripod okay they come together but this green light is rotatable um it's where is that part is two in one 180 rotatable led ring light and adjustable tripod stand so with this one if maybe um, i'm cooking because it's been long I, I want to make um videos where i'm cooking so you guys can see exactly what i'm cooking not what we've been seeing that's not what i want so if there's the ring light it goes all the way to to light um the food that you are cooking unlike when it's just like this so that's the reason why i bought this one and I think I'll show you guys how it works. I don't know when. And then the tripod came out of this box. So now I want to do, I want to watch the laundry of Abigail. You know, I normally wash it on Thursdays. So now I'm going to wash it and then what? clean my kitchen just going to show you though it's not messy and um, i'll be lying if i say it's messy because you know what i mean when i say my kitchen is messy this is nothing and then like there's nothing much to do but i think for today i'm just going to show you um how i tidy up um my kitchen i can say like 15 minutes tidy up and then um tomorrow i'll try to do kitchen deep clean or living room deep clean um, and then yeah so guys let's get to it so uh, this is the current situation in my kitchen just look how full my machine is so let's get started hand wash liquid soap that I'm using um, to wash every girl's clothes this smells so so good guys you should try it I really love this though it is like expensive but I really really love it you know if you're using this one there's not to be honest there's no even use to use the fabric conditioner but I'm also using that one Let me show you um, this is the fabric conditioner that I also use for every day. So I'm using these two products for every day. So let's get started. I don't 
don't think I'm going to show you how I'm going to tidy up my kitchen. Rather, I'll just show you guys tomorrow how I do the deep clean. So now I'm just going to show you. Actually, not really to show. You. I'm just doing a little laundry, and after this, I have to take it outside on the lane, which is something that I'll also show you. But then after that, I think I'll be done with um, this video for today and then I'll see you guys tomorrow and I don't think I'll ever talk again. I'll just do the voiceover because I'm tired. Like I'm so, so tired and I don't understand this weather, you know. It was so cold in the morning, now it's hot. And I don't understand, like it's it's mid march it's winter already but you know it's just playing with us so um yeah guys i will see you not really i'll see you no i'm going to take the laundry um to the balcony and then from there i'll see you guys tomorrow yeah so guys it's raining now like it was hot it was really hot so i don't understand what's really happening <laughs> this word is confused i always wash a big girl's laundry on thursdays and then on fridays i wash um francis laundry and mine so that on Friday, on Saturday, I can be free. At least, maybe I'll just tidy up the house. But as for the laundry, it's always Thursdays and Fridays. You can also tell me when um, do you wash your family laundry by commenting down on the comment section down below because I know a lot of people they prefer to do their laundry on weekends like on Saturdays and others on Sundays and I always feel like doing laundry on Sunday is just risky you know more especially if you have um, a baby who's attending school and there's uniform involved and on monday they have to wear the uniform and you, you want to wash it on sunday and what if it rains on sunday <laughs> so you can just let me know which days do you wash your laundry by commenting down below I've been postponing to deep clean my kitchen for so long and on this day I told myself that I must really do it and I was trying my best I was really trying my best it was not really easy it was hot I was tired and I just thank God that I I, I gathered that strength to clean where I can and I was so so happy with the, um, the end result because even now when I look in my kitchen I check the towels they are very very clean remember when I bought this Mr. Sheen clear view I bought it to wash my windows only but one day I tried to use it on my stove and I really really loved how it turned out and I think I'm going to use it for my windows and my stove as well and I noticed that it's not only for windows it's a multi-purpose cleaner as well so I really really enjoyed how it removes the grease from my stove Tonight we could do this right We'll find the remedy Oh
As I was editing this video, I was thinking of my younger self. I was thinking of those days when I was staying with my cat mother and my cousins. How life used to be like and it was really peaceful and nice seeing my grandmother doing all the up and downs cooking for us cleaning the house and at some stage that's when she started to teach us the house chores i remember i was um i think i was eight eight or nine years when i started to do the dishes you know what she will do she'll just give us um the bowl with dishes to wash outside next to the tap because um we never had the sink to wash so we'll take the bowl and go outside with it and then wash the dishes while i wash the other one will rinse the other one will wipe the dishes and then the other one will go and pack so what we were doing we were sharing all those um tasks amongst ourselves and it was so easy for the one who was washing and cleansing the dishes and i was just looking at this video and i was just laughing at myself like oh, we used to complain for small things we really used to complain for small things and i'm very grateful that you know being taught by a mother is goes a long way actually because um and maybe some of you might ask why was i raised by my grandmother um i was raised by my grandmother because um I'll, mommy stop that because uh, Abigail no sorry for that guys um, I was raised by my grandmother because my mother passed away when I was 3 years and then when I was um, 10 years that's when I moved from the Free State province and I relocated in the Houghton province with my elder sister She's the one who also raised me from that um, from that year, from the year 2000 until 2020 wow. when she got COVID and passed away as well. After moving, um, it was so difficult for us because, um, I mean, me and my sister, my other sister, I have two sisters. It was so difficult because um, we were only seeing our grandmother and our cousins only during school holidays. But at the same time, it was nice knowing that, oh, tomorrow the school is closing, meaning next week we might go home. You know, it was really nice seeing your grandmother after six months. But then... Um, I remember 2007, um, we got a call at night and yeah, it was during school holidays and they told us that um, our grandmother passed away. It was so painful for us because, man, she was like, she was just more than a mother, more than a grandmother to all of us. It was so painful and you know, I don't know if some of you have experienced this. If you have a mother or a grandmother that, that grandmother that you stayed with and then she passed away, like even the house, the environment changes. There's no that thing. There's no, I don't know how to call that motherly thing in the house. The house is just empty for me. I can't feel anything. So the same thing applies to her house. Even when I go there, I just feel like, there's something missing until this day. So what I do when I go back home in the free state, I just go to my mother's house. Because when going to my grandmother's house, it always brings this brings back all these memories. And all my cousins are mothers now. They are old. You no, know, things have changed. So some some just someday I just wish um I could just go there with Abigail 
and then tell her all the stories that happened in that house. generation and these generations they are completely different i mean the way we grew up used to be so nice sometimes i'm just looking at my nephew he was born in 2007 and i see a lot of difference like in his age now he's 15 already he had more than five cell phones and i'm like you know back in the days we never even thought that one day we will have our own cell phones our own laptops all we were focusing on was just playing 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 and when I, i'm talking about playing it was not those fancy playing no we'll play this i don't know how to call this one but i call it international game <laughs> where you're just playing and there will be a mother in the house there will be a father in the house there will be kids in the house and then there's this other one where we used to cook and we'll make fire outside take um, small things i know the generation of today they use the actual pots to do that but for us we were taking the tins like your cool um, baked beans tin your baked beans tin your tin fish tins we used to take them clean them and then we cook up inside there we cook whatever tomato after that we just eat because we're at that stage where we always see our mothers cooking and we also wanted to cook but we knew they will never give us or they will never allow us to cook so now i know why I never worked out before hello it would always turn out bad so bad but every time we start sister's house was very very um, enjoyable i enjoyed you know those um, good days those bad days you know um they used to okay it was i was staying there with my sister not the my late sister my other sister my brother my nephew two nephews it was so nice because they were older than me i was the smallest and one day my sister just decided they used to have um something like a roaster a schedule that on monday this is the person who's going to wash the dishes all day if whenever there are dishes that person must wash until they added me in that schedule i was so excited i was really excited until after i think after two years i was like i'm tired of this thing no i want to go and play so my sister was always telling me that if you want to go and play at least just do your house chores then you go outside to play guys i used to play i played until i was in grade nine and i was like 15 years 15 16 yes yeah that's when i stopped to play it was so difficult because you know they say girls mature fast I mature first but my 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 mind was still on that thing of playing and when i stopped playing i could feel like this thing is not good for me anymore hi guys um if you have watched this video so far thank you so much and continue to watch because right now i'm about to wash my kitchen window and um remember last time i think it was when i was cleaning the, the bedrooms 
um, I mentioned that I want to buy these things for my windows and I'm happy that I got it so and you know what I like about this one is that you can extend the length of this pole so right now what I want to do is to wash my uh, my kitchen window I'm just going to use what I always use for my windows <coughs> I am going to use uh, Mr. Sheen Clear View and my kitchen tower. These are the two things that I'm going to use. Yes, hon, I'm Teflon. I don't give an F, so go ahead and tell them. I'm a little bit too much for you. on the towels like it removes the trees so so good and I'm going to add my um, all purpose cleaner to add a little bit of jig I was really enjoying washing my kitchen towels all thanks to the products that I've added into my water all those detergents made things to be easier normally when I wash my towels I will wash twice or three times and then I come back to wipe but in this case I just washed once and then I wipe and then I go to the other side and I must really say that I'm gonna use this mixture but unfortunately with Mr. Shin you can only use it on um, top surfaces and towels but not on the painted walls because apparently it removes the paint so I was very lucky to read that on time so I'm um, thinking of um, starting to do spring cleaning in the bedroom so what I will do I will just wash the walls and the, the windows again but the problem is I'm not sure when but it must be done this month or first week of next month. I hope you guys are enjoying and if it's your first time here, you are very welcome and don't forget to click the subscribe button. In this channel, we like to do cleaning motivation, mommy duties, food recipes and lifestyle vlogs. So if you are that kind of person who enjoys such content kindly, um, subscribe to my channel and if you are enjoying this video, kindly give it a thumbs up if you want to say something you know what to do comment down below cuz you have a piece of my heart and i know the word that perfect but i'm gonna miss all that we had you know the word that perfect but i need this night for the last time stay
this is the place that I dislike in my kitchen. This place is so busy and it gets dirty so fast. Um, every time when I'm frying, when I'm cooking, the, the oil always falls over there. Sometimes I see the tomato sauce. So I normally clean this place every Sunday because if I leave it out, then all those, um, the oil and everything will just become crisp and I really hate that. Either way, guys, um, this I think I'm done with the voiceover. I hope you are enjoying this content and just sit here, continue to watch and enjoy the music. Okay, we watch the sun go down over the same old town. reach that side um, it was just too high for me so I'm just going to ask Francis to help me and this side as well I need to find space for these two processors and that trophy behind same thing applies here it was too high going all the way down I think it can just help me to clean the upper part and then I'll take it all the way down so I managed to clean this side going all the way till down there so um, I could not clean that side as well as you can see how the space so small like even if I took the chair it was still gonna be the same thing so I'm still going to ask Francis to help me to clean that side and yeah this is how my kitchen looks like now and I am woo, I am happy with the way it looks and my window is clean I'm just so so happy and yeah so guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video